238,855 miles is the average distance of what the Moon is away from Earth. Of course, while Earth is in its orbit, the Moon does come closer and go further away from Earth, which I've already said three times, so now I'm just going to get on with doing this video. And I wanted to put this camera zoom up against the 238,855 miles that separate this camera, which is on Earth, from the Moon. So obviously I went outside, I recorded some videos using this camera, looking up at the Moon and zooming in on it and took a few pictures of it and things like that. So that is what you are about to see. But before I go on and play those videos for you, which of course I'll do that in post-production because I can't really say, right, play this video here and then make it play because I'll need to like edit it. But before I get on and edit this video so you can see the moon that I recorded last night, I will just very briefly go over the zoom specifications of this camera and the camera itself. The camera itself, if you haven't seen my unboxing video, the camera is a Panasonic HC-V270. So I'll put that on the screen in captions so you can see it. And now I'll just like very briefly say what zoom capability does this camera have. I'll also like list these on the screen here as well. Well anyway, the optical zoom on this camera is 50 times, the intelligent zoom goes up to 90 times, and the digital zoom goes from 150 right up to 3000 times zoom. So yeah, that's basically all this video is. So. Now I'm going to edit in those videos and play them for you, so here they are. Right, so, <clears throat> you see that speck there? Well, not that speck, that bright thing in the sky, that is the moon, and I'm going to zoom into the moon with uh, the 90 times intelligent zoom that I have enabled on this camera, so let's zoom in. I'm zooming in slowly. Now we need to wait for it to sort out like the white balance and contrast and stuff. And there we go. So that is what the moon looks like. See all the craters on it? All the shadows? That's really good. I like this camera. So now I'm going to zoom out slowly. Back to one time zoom. Now we're on five times. Three times, two times, one time. All right, there we go. Fully zoomed out. So now let's zoom back in. Oh, there we go. Oh, don't lose it. Thought I'd tighten that. Now I've tightened it so it won't go sideways. Oh, still goes up and down. But uh, yes, there is the moon. Now you can see all the craters, all the shadows, like mountains and stuff, whatever you want to call them. That's really good, I like that. So yeah, that is the moon. Hmm, can't wait until it's a full moon so then we can like see it all. But it might not be as good because we won't have the like shadow of the earth going across it, so might not be able to see all the craters and stuff. But never mind, we'll find out when we get a full moon. Well, I get a full moon. So let me zoom out here. 
There we go. Oh. Okay, I have now enabled 3000 times digital zoom, but I've only zoomed in 180 times. And that is what the moon looks like. And if I wanted to, I could zoom all the way in on that crater. That's maximum zoom there. But yes, that is the moon. Okay, right, so now I need to think of an outro and then record it, then go and dice this video up in the editing software and edit in those moon videos. So what do you think? Like, uh, me personally, honestly, I think that's very impressive because I have never had a camera that's been able to zoom in on the moon the way this one does and like actually be able to see the craters on the moon. So I thought that was very, very good. Which, you know, it is. Because, well, it's the moon, isn't it? I don't really know where I was going with that sentence, so I just sort of ended it there. But anyway, that is mainly the purpose of this video, so I shall see you in the next video, whatever that will be. I know there was like a two weeks period between last video and this one, that's mainly because I didn't have any video ideas to do. And I'm not a person that just makes videos for the sake of it, I like to have a video idea on what I can do. And I've just noticed something that I've been doing, if my eyes have been slightly off centre, I apologise because I've been washing myself in the viewfinder instead of looking into the lens of the camera. So yeah, I hope that isn't that noticeable because I don't really want to record it because even though it's edited down to like, I don't know, like 5 or 6 minutes, I've actually been recording it for about 20 minutes. Anyway, that is the end of this video, so if you like it, like it, if you dislike it, dislike it, and then tell me why you disliked it because constructive criticism is constructive. And if you want to subscribe, do that. I think it's below the video these days, but by the time... But if I say it's below the video, then this time next year it'll be above the video. So wherever the subscribe button is, if you want to subscribe, press it. So thank you for watching, and I shall see you, speak to you, and whatever else you want to call it, in the next video. So goodbye until then. Now I can stop this recording. Why is it not stopped? Stop recording.